Yeah, it's putting the whole shelf, all those down there. Get in the driveway. Can I see Mario, Doc? Sorry? Can I see Mario? Mario? Yeah. Now, this game was not easy to find, eh? There was only one copy in the country, and it cost me an arm and a leg. <laughs> and you know what's funny? It doesn't even work. So what do you think I did? I bought another copy from Europe. This one cost me a hundred bucks. Off to a great start. Mario is Missing is an educational shit show that's developed by Radical Entertainment and published by Mindscape and is released for the Super Nintendo on June 1993 for North America and September for Europe and Australia. The game as you control Luigi travels around the world to locate and return stolen items. Upon completion, Luigi then must take on Bowser, who has been holding Mario captive. The game saw sales on the Nintendo platform to exceed 7 million in profits, and in 2017, IGN included the game on the list of the weirdest Mario games ever made. Let's check it out. Got the game's tile screen, you got yourself search for Mario and continue search. We'll go search for Mario. Alright, let's begin. I'm not sure if this is Bowser's castle, but it doesn't look like it. Where do we go? There's one of these doors I'm guessing. Do. Oh. So this game basically uses all the sprites, textures, animations from Super Mario World. I'm pretty sure Nintendo itself had nothing to do with this game, but yeah, we'll find out. Get yourself a bit of a remix of the original theme song. Sounds pretty good. Some kid. Can you jump on him? No, he can't. Not a pot. Okay, the end of the stage. What are these roads? What's that? Ah, so you walk up the sidewalk. That's pretty cool design, I guess. This level looks like the same as the last one, though. There's another road. We got this one. Am I lost or something? This is a bit of a maze, eh? Like, what's the go? We go to the pipe? Yes, we can. Where does this take us? What is this, man? This is getting a bit annoying, eh? Where do we go? What do we do? Alright, uh, so you press the shoulder button to get the map up. I guess that helps. But where do we go? There's information here. How do we get information? Like, what do we do? We've been running around for the past 20 minutes. I don't want to take the pipe because it'll take me somewhere else. Like, am I on the right track or what? Alright, so 
we go and buy them. What's that do? Mr. Police Officer, what the hell do we do? Oh, I'm doing laps. Like, where do we go? So after about an hour, you're probably wondering what the hell you're gonna do in this game, eh? So what you gotta do is you gotta talk to this chick right here. Oh, she's busy. You gotta wait for her not to be busy. Ugh. Right, now you get asked a question. We'll go with this one here. Yeah, by this stage, you'll probably realize that this game is an educational game, eh? Like, no fun to be had here. I don't know, it was a slipper? Ugh. Alright, we pass. What's this? I don't know, man. Ugh. So after 15 minutes of to and from with this lady, we finally passed. We got ourselves 1500 bucks and a good luck finding Mario. Thanks. Ugh. What now? <sighs> Whoa, what's all this? Computer, globe loader, city map, photo album. Whoa, man, this game is big. India, Asia. <sighs> is that Australia? It is too. That's pretty cool. Sydney. Alright, where do we go now? So I did a little bit of research about this game. What you gotta do is you gotta go around collecting stolen items. Doesn't sound like much fun to be honest. It just goes on and on. When do we get to some actual gameplay, like, you know? Or is this the gameplay? Just running around solving mysteries? This isn't Scooby Doo, man. I mean, come on! Alright, so back at stage one, we're back at the information center. We can't talk to the lady anymore, but we can go inside. Alright, ballet, what do we do? A picture or something, I think. Okay. Oh, nice. So I'm guessing we're going to take this somewhere. This picture. So if we bring the start button back up, we go to computer. We've got all these empty spaces, which I'm guessing we're gonna fill. We're gonna tick over here, what's this? Extra, extra, so the paper, the metro. That's, what, that's our accomplishment. So we gotta get all these ticked off. You gotta be kidding yourself, right? <sighs> Alright, so this lady here wants to talk. Where am I? What is this? What is this indeed? We give a tour of the Kremlin. I'd like to include the cannonball. Yes, yeah, so I got the cannonball. Do you want it? Oh, it looks like we're in Russia. Ugh. Pointless dialogue. I hate it. So back at the information center. Another question. Ask away. Holy fool means something in Russia. Idiot. Ah! 
This is starting to piss me off, man, eh? Like, I'm playing a game. I don't want to educate myself. I want to rot my brain. It's just stupid, man. Holy fool means something in Russian. Saint? Yes. Alright. We know it's not that one. I don't think it's Peter the Great. Ivan the Terrible? Yes! Alright. We passed. 2250 reward. Another good luck. Bitch. You'd think after four hours of gameplay, this game would get slightly better, but it doesn't. And you want to know something? This 16-bit rendition music, I hate it. I wish it would change. It's starting to piss me off. I don't know how many items you're going to collect from this game, and to be honest, I don't want to know. It just goes on and on and on. It's not the worst game out there. But it's boring as, man. And that's the worst thing a game can be, is boring. So I've chucked in the towel, I've caught a quits, eh? You can use cheat codes, but I couldn't be bothered to be honest. Like, the gameplay is just mindless nonsense. Let me show you how big this piece of crap is, eh? So back in the hub world, these five doors represent five different worlds. So if we use this first door... So we've entered a new world. More mindless gameplay. Fetch quests, never ending. Ugh. At least the music's changed, thank god. Well ladies and gentlemen, that's Mario's Missing. Yeah, the game looks quite nice and appealing. But looks can only get a game so far. The gameplay, it's just boring, like, if I wanted to go learn something, I'd go back to school, man. Whilst there are some unique and creative design elements, it just lacks, like, yeah, it is what it is, I guess. 5 out of 10 for Mario's missing, I guess he gets a pass.